The real fact in today's world that a person has to be a scholar in order to excel in his life and to be at the top of the world. The main fact that made India a progressing and developing nation is its educational wealth. A very good evening to you all, respected president, members of the jury, my learned co-participants, teachers and all my dear friends. Today, on this glamorous evening, it's I, Karit Pritish Patil, representing Sainis School Bijapur to speak against the motion, does co-curricular activities help in the progress of a child? In today's world, a person is well known by his educational qualifications. I am sure you all must be meeting your relatives and close ones frequently. The first and the foremost question asked by them is about your result in your school. Have you ever wondered why this particular question is asked first and why not some other question regarding any other co-curricular activity? The main reason behind this is that academics, which is the main curriculum, is given much more importance in this present world. Every child born on this earth has a desire to join a good institution and then to acquire a good job. Do you all think it is easy to join these institutions? No friends, no. It is not so easy as you may be thinking. This present world is a competitive world. Students from each corner score incredible and unbelievable percentage in their examinations and moreover their competition is just in decimals. So friends, you can very well imagine how tough is the competition across the globe. My well-learned opponents say that co-curricular activities help in the future of a child. I strongly oppose this statement because many of these activities develop egocentrism which is very harmful for the future of a child. Because in this present era, a person has to be socially adjusted and friendly in order to live a very happy life. Moreover, some of these co-curricular activities have, have caused some permanent injuries which have made many of the sportsmen totally unfit for the future. My knowledgeable opponents say that co-curricular activities are important in one's life. I vehemently oppose this statement because in each and every school, academics is compulsory whereas other co-curricular activities are just optional. And if you keep on doing these co-curricular activities, then where is the time to study? Because in this present era, because in this present era, the syllabus is so vast and some subjects are just like ocean. One more aspect about this is that too much of involvement in these activities may make a person to lose total interest in his studies, which is very, very harmful. In a survey of about more than 17,000 students in India, 63% of them who were totally involved in these activities had a reduction in their percentage and moreover, some of them even used unfair methods to pass in their examinations. Some of the greatest Indians like C.B. Raman, Jagdish Chandra Bose and A.P.J. Abdul Kalam who have excelled in their life were basically from villages. I assure you that in those times, there was hardly any exposure to any of these co-curricular activities. But today, they have been regarded as some of the greatest scientists of all times just because of their great discoveries and inventions in the field of science. I am very certain you all must have heard about Stephen Hawking. If you take his particular example, he is totally a disabled person, which means he can't do even a single co-curricular activity. But today, he has become one of the greatest astrophysicists just because of his intelligence and studies. Recently, on July 5th, the Indian Express stated that a cadet in the National Defense Academy died because of the pressure on him while running cross-country. So friends, by this we can come to know that some, some of the co-curricular activities may be so disastrous that it may take an individual's life. So friends, 21st century has been acknowledged as the knowledge century worldwide. Moreover, education, knowledge and 
academics are the main steps for the progress of each and every child born on this earth. Thus, to put it in a nutshell, talent does what it can, but genius does what it must. Thank you, thank you one and all. Good, very good.